In a previous in-depth video, we took a look at the SD Theatre Software Auto Update function. And continuing on from this, we're going to delve into two more T Software enhancements, aliases and players. We'll start with aliases, which is a feature for managing changes to channel settings throughout a queue list. When a costume change occurs on stage, which could be a character adding a hat or other accessory, or even a complete costume change, there can often be associated changes of channel settings. Changes in mic position or even complete mic changes mean different EQs or other channel settings. And in shows with hundreds of cues, sound designers need an efficient method of managing, tracking, and updating these settings. This is where aliases come in. An alias simply represents a version of a character. So a channel might be used for a character, Tony. And when Tony puts on a hat, we create an alias called Tony Hat. These two aliases might be mostly the same, but with some very specific differences, maybe different EQs or dynamics. For the channel settings that are the same for the two aliases, maybe auxes, group routing or inserts, they actually share the same settings. So you're only isolating specific elements of the channel when creating aliases. The real power of the alias system means that changes made to an alias automatically update to every queue where that alias appears. This means that changes made to the Tony alias will update all instances of Tony, regardless of which queue you're in when you make the change. And similarly, changes made to Tony hat also update to every queue where Tony appears in a hat. This ultimately means that no matter what queue you're in or what version of a character you're working with, the channel settings will always be updated by the auto update system. With an unlimited number of aliases available, you will always have the correct settings no matter how many costume changes the show might demand. Now we have a system to deal with the changes to a channel settings, what happens when a character in the production is played by more than one person? Each person appearing in the show would need their own individual settings to account for the differences in their voice. But we also need to be able to maintain any aliases we've set up. This is handled by the players function of the T software. Players gives us the ability to assign roles within a show to multiple actors or actresses. Creating players doesn't change any of the programming we've done, but it allows us to add person specific settings, maybe their own EQs, meaning that the audience always gets the best possible sonic experience without any compromises. The operator just needs to select who is playing each role at the top of the show and the queue list is automatically updated with all of the correct settings. And should someone fall ill, an alternate performer needs to take over, the operator can select a different player at any point in the show and again, the queue list gets automatically updated. No matter how complicated your theatre show, with hundreds of queues, costume changes, alternate actors or depping musicians, the T software combination of aliases and players allow sound designers and operators to manage the most demanding of theatre shows quickly and efficiently. Don't forget to check out the other SD range in-depth videos on the Digico YouTube channel and make sure you're up to date with all the latest SD developments.